Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull trap or bull trend what's going on with the stock market world. My name is Vadik and as usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's the time for trading view. Let's start trading view stock market heat map based on the all USA companies market cap and daily performance. And yeah, technology sectors, they are green, finance still red, still some sectors still red, energy red, a lot of red, but mixed mode, some red, some green. Now let's move to my watch list and we'll do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10 and green line SMA 5. Below RSI line, yellow line, and Heiken Aichi bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Now let me uh, tell you how it works. Look at it. Sell signal, red circle, when MA5, green line did bearish crossover over red line, bearish trend. When green circle, circle when green line MA5 did bullish crossover over red, it was bullish crossover bullish trend. What we are observing now, last bar just touched SMA 200 white line and white line for last three days. It could be rejection from this level. It's very strong resistant line. So far trend is bullish. Q's plus one and a half percent today. Today it was at the, at the uh, SMA 20 level and today it bounced and now it's about all moving averages. It did it again, I believe all time new high, yes. It did all time new high. At the same time, uh, you see on RSI, bear, multiple bearish divergences. It definitely this, this run, it's like a bull trap. It definitely wants to have correction. Remember I told you every now every every dip market will do will buy the dip because mode extreme greed on the market and buyers they will buy every single every single uh, dip because they still run market bullish and it is it and it, it's true look at it Last bar above all moving averages, it is bullish position, it's a bullish territory. But RSI has bearish divergence. RSI doesn't lie. RSI always right. That's only one issue with RSI, with the bearish divergence, that it's, it doesn't tell you the, the timing. It doesn't tell you exactly the time and day when it will change direction, but it will. That's why this bull trap, all time new high, it will be reversed. It will be reversed. Four hours time frame, same story, bullish trend, bearish divergence. One hour time frame, same story, bull trend, bullish trend, gap up, and bearish divergence even on one hour time frame. On all time frames, bearish divergences. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ still last bar above SMA 5, 10, and 20, still in the bullish territory. It is bearish for Q's. SP 500 SPX plus 1%, Q's was plus 1.5%. SPX not so positive. It is bullish, last bar still above all moving averages. It is positive bullish. And still bearish divergence on RSI, right? Be ready for correction. This bull, it's a bull trap. This run, it's a bull trap. 
it's not a bull trend but territory and position of the market still positive bullish four hours time frame buy signal it bounced from sma 50 and 20 now it's about all moving averages bullish trend but you see it didn't destroy it any divergence still bearish divergences on rsi one hour time frame same story last bar about all moving averages bullish trend bullish trend bullish crossover bullish trend and it's a bearish divergence uh, no no not yet we'll see on one hour time frame no divergences weeks volatility index minus almost four percent daily still last bar above sma 5 10 20 and 50 still in a positive bullish trend bullish signal dow jones plus half percent last bar still below sma 20 still bearish territory still bearish trend four hours time frame similar story by signal last bar just move from the over from the negative territory it was below ma sma 5 10 and 20 and 50 now it's trying to break sma 20 it could be rejection from sma 20. one hour time frame bullish crossover bullish trend on all indicators for dow jones on one hour vxd volatility index for dow jones bullish crossover bullish trend iwm russell 2000 daily bearish trend yeah still bearish trend it did touch sma 50 maybe it will bounce from sma 50 still bearish trend four hours time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish trend and it has bullish divergence and one hour time frame it did bullish reversal sma5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 last bar about 20 bullish crossover bullish trend on one hour time frame only RVX minus 3%, Russell 2000, volatility index, yeah, still bearish, but still last bar above SMA 200. It's kind of lower than below SMA 20, but it's still about 200. Uh, Apple, Apple daily last bar, it just Trying to fill the gap, it touched the gap. It definitely needs more room to grow to, to fill the gap. But it it it's up to day plus three and a half percent. Bullish crossover, it's trying to break SMA 20. We'll see if it's if it if it's going to fill. I believe it it should fill this gap and it will be rejection after that. okay four hours time frame for apple same story bullish crossover bullish trend right and one hour time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend amazon amazon plus one and a quarter percent still in the bullish territory still you know still positive territory Four hours time frame, same story, last bar still above SMA 20, still positive territory and one hour time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend on one hour. Nvidia, Nvidia very positive, very bullish um, equity, right? Plus one and a half percent, still last bar above all moving averages, still bullish. Still bullish and RSI in the overbought territory definitely wants to be rejected. 
whatever is time frame bullish trend bearish divergence on RSI one hour time frame bullish trend bearish divergence on RSI right it wants to have correction but still bullish Tesla minus two percent only Tesla negative in Baba Tesla minus two percent still bearish uh, let's start day monthly I'm sorry monthly daily last bar below all moving averages bearish trend are assigned very oversold territory for our time frame same story bearish trend on all indicators and are assigned oversold territory bearish trend one hour time frame last bar almost below all all moving averages it is bearish territory bearish trend that's all let's move to microsoft microsoft daily bullish trend plus one percent bullish trend it has bearish divergence on RSI four hours time frame same bullish trend and bearish divergence on RSI and one hour time frame bullish trend last bar above all moving averages bearish divergence on RSI Baba Alibaba group daily time frame minus one percent bearish trend with bullish divergence it wants to bounce four hours time frame same story last bar below all moving averages bearish trend bearish trend on all indicators four hours time frame also in one hour time frame bearish bearish baba bearish on all time frames yield inversion we are getting closer and closer to zero line to red line this is this red line it's a yield inversion line and it works 100 percent okay let's do summary let's do summary all indexes and equities they bounce from the uh, negative oversold territory to extreme bullish territory that's what we are observing all indexes and equities bullish bullish except tesla only tesla very negative and baba tesla and baba very negative that's all i still believe it, it is bull trap because of the very bullish divergences on all indicators like use a lot of gaps below and definitely it's a bull trap and uh, let's see next couple of days my opinion it's a bull trap that's all let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purpose we're using paper training simulator Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for, for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.